Hey everybody, welcome back. It's your girl Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Reaction Channel. Diving into genres from all around the world. We've been exploring all kinds of artists. Check out the different videos that I've posted and the playlists to find all kinds of awesome treasures. I am impressed. There are a lot of NF fans of you out there. There's been a bunch of people subscribing, hoping for me to start this NF journey. One comment was particularly funny because um, this person said that Based on what they've seen on my channel so far, it looks like they think that I may not go down the NF journey, but if I do, or if I want to, I should listen to some of the tracks. And I thought to myself, challenge accepted. <laughs> I was planning to explore more of the songs anyways, because this is really about world music. So you will find rap on this channel, just like you'll find rock and Arabic music and African music and Russian music all around the world. But it was just funny to me to hear that um, based on what they assessed from the channel, it looked like I may not, I may not explore any more NF. And react to it but you were wrong i'm so happy you guys are here you guys as always like comment share subscribe click on all those buttons i'm excited that you're here guys we are going to check out nf nathan john feuerstein yes in america we probably say feuerstein 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 but it's a german name Firestone, Feuerstein. So that's kind of cool. But his uh, initials are nf and that's his artist name he is 31 now born in 91 and he's an American rapper, singer, songwriter. You guys know a bunch about him, so blow up the comments below. Let me know what you know and what you love about him. I reacted to one of his songs recently. Um, wasn't really familiar with his work. Still am not, but I'm going to explore it together with you. We were listening to Mansion, one of his first projects. He had a, a couple of EPs come out in 2012. Then he had a self-titled EP. EP come out in, uh, what was it, 2014, and then his first major label album, Mansion, in 2015. So he's done this journey, he's going at it, and just keeps putting out these hardcore songs that you guys have been telling me about, or warning me about, and you said, oops, I forgot to bring tissues. You said that I should check out a lot of his stuff. I plan to still check out The Search. I think that's one of the songs you guys suggested. And then also plan to check out How Could You Leave Us. I think that's the song you guys were talking about. But I'm going to try to go in order just a bit. I'm not sure if therapy session came before or after How Could You Leave Us? But let me know in the comments below, as always. But we're going to check out Therapy Session today, released April 22nd, 2016. And um, yeah, my goal is to try to go through some of his work in order, not necessarily always perfectly in order and not all of his work, not every single song or EP or track that he's put out, but some of the big stuff that you've suggested that you would, that you would like to see me watch. This one's already starting a little um, interesting because I am getting the video ready so that I can dive right in with you guys. And I see this viewer discretion um, and it says something about disturbing for some viewers and difficult topics like self-injury and suicide. So I'm already a little nervous about that. I actually wrote my master thesis on self-injury among adolescents and teenagers. It was so many years ago, I don't even remember all the things that I said in that thesis, um, but it's a hard and difficult topic. It is uh, personal and it's profound and I'm not sure if I'm ready. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. I genuinely am not sure if I'm ready because... You know, I like being real. I used to always say this channel is about real talk, real reactions, and that's what's going to happen. I'm trying to get better and better at recording these videos so that um, you can really just, so I don't, ha I don't have to edit as much and push them out faster because there's a lot of work and my list is long and the requests are long and I'm excited about it. So I'm trying to you know edit as, li as um, little as possible. And so, so sometimes if you find me stumbling over my words, then it may be that I've chosen to just leave that in there so I can get these videos out to you faster, trying to get better at just going into the flow but because I want this to be a place of real talk, you run the risk of making yourself incredibly vulnerable in front of people. And that's hard. Uh, most of you have been awesome about it. Super supportive, super awesome. I got some serious ride or dies out there and I'm so grateful for you guys. So shout out to all my ride or dies guys. I'm, a, I'm thankful for you. Remember that if you want to get connected, I try to respond to as many of you as possible, but it's hard. So please keep in mind, if you really... I would love to really see you, especially you who are my core subscribers, core viewers, those who are really like consistently here. I want to reward that. Make sure you get a make sure you get one of those super badges, super thank yous and all that jazz whenever I go on whenever I go live or I have a premiere. Uh, it'll make it easier for me to really see you, for you to stand out in a crowd of hundreds of comments. And I try, like I said, to get to as many as possible. I don't copy paste my responses. I I, I want to be personal. You're not a copy. That's what I've said to one of my um 
viewers. So I don't want to just copy paste my responses as much as possible. So that being said, let us dive in. Oh, and today's shout out, y'all. There's so many of you who have commented who've been asking for more NF. So thank you to you guys. But I think I'm going to do a shout out to Robert Mankowski. Shout out to you. You posted on NF recently. Thank you for your subscription and your support. It's cool that we can all be connected this way and yeah, share and enjoy music. Kind of like friends riding in the, uh, in the car, just chilling and jamming out, hanging out and listening to music, crying and laughing together, talking about what the song means to us. That's something that I love about um, the internet and technology. I appreciate that. Cody Hall, intro three is coming. Oh, I was told that goes hand in hand with Mansion. I might do that right after this video just because I want to hit a few NF videos today. Oh gosh, I'm not ready. Guys, I'm trying my best to get my audio better. I'm learning. I'm trying to do better. I'm using a different screen recording um, app now or program. So please be patient with me. Um, I'm going to do my best to get this audio better and better and better for you. Trying something new today. So I'm hoping that this sounds good for you guys. NF therapy session. Yeah, I got up stay like a month ago. I was talking to fans, and one of them pulled me aside and said, We never met, but I swear that you know who I am. I've been through a lot. I don't know how to express it to people. Don't think that I can, but I got that mental ZD on rotation. That's real for me, Nate. You do not understand. It's crazy for me. Kids in me up, say they slitting they wrists on the daily. This music is more than you think. Don't book me for just entertainment. It's entertaining. Hearing these parents, they telling their kids, My music is violent. You gotta be kidding me. I guess that your definition of violence and mine is something. Something that we look at differently How do you picture me? I want me to smile You want me to laugh You want me to walk in the stage With a smile on my face When I'm mad And put on a mask For real though I mean what you expect from me I'm trying to do this respectfully They say that life is a race I know my problems are probably Catch up eventually I do my best to be calm How you gon' write me And tell me you slaughter my family That's just a glimpse of the stuff That gets said to me These are the parts of my life That I'll never see Woo! I am not here for acceptance. I don't know what you expected, but what you expect when you walk in a therapy session. Wow, that that choir. I'm going to go back a few seconds. That choir brings in a whole level of force. I love how he raps, yo. So much passion. Oh, my gosh. Just in a few first seconds, he's already saying stuff that's, like, so deep. Calling out people and the ugly things they say. Calling out people who say his music's violent. What? But then we're not going to talk about the stuff that's really an issue. That's exactly what I was telling my husband last night. There was this episode of a show, it was called The System's Broken, the episode title. And they were addressing political brokenness. Not saying there's not a whole lot of bunch of brokenness in the politics, don't get me wrong. But in the show, the show has been awesome so far, but then gradually, more and more, they're bringing in a bunch of cussing. And they were trying to bring in nudity, very mild, but still just starting to test the waters it felt like. And we were talking to each other like, why do they keep doing this? They start off strong, it's cool, and then they try to sneak that crap in more and more. And the irony is that many people are not talking about how that's the broken system. Sure, there's stuff in the economy and in the politics that are broken. But how many people are talking about the stuff going on behind closed doors, the domestic issues, the abuse, the pornography, human trafficking, these things that are truly broken, that are causing the next generation and the next generation after that to keep repeating a cycle some people call it like the curse. Other people call it like, I don't know, you know, family trauma. There's a need for therapy. There's a need for people to have these real conversations. Let's talk about the stuff that really matter. Let's talk about the really heavy stuff and not just the superficial. Because if we dig deep and we fix the root, which starts in the home and in the family, in our minds and in our hearts, with what we watch, what we say, what we listen to, a whole lot of other stuff is going to be fixed after that. But shoe man. He's going in hard within just a few seconds. It's so rich, you have to like listen every moment. 
I just wanted to say that real quick because I don't want to forget it. And, you know, it's just powerful. But then that choir, whoa, that was a beautiful touch musically. This girl in the show looked me in the face and told me a life full of drama. Said her dad is abusive, apparently he likes to beat on her mama. I got so angry inside, I wanted to tell her to give me his number. But what you gonna do with it, right? You gonna hit him up, then he'll start hitting her harder, that's real. These kids, they come to my shows with tears in their eyes. Imagine someone looking at you and saying your music's the reason that they're alive. Sometimes I don't know how to handle it. This type of life isn't glamorous. This ain't an act for the cameras. You see me walk on these stages, but have no idea what I'm dealing with after it. I put it all in the open. This is the way that I cope with all my emotions. I'm taking pictures with thousands of people, but honestly, I feel like nobody knows me. I'm I got so many emotions. I can't deal, dude. Oh, man. I love this. This His music. I love this dude. I appreciate so much how he's speaking truth and how he doesn't give a crap. Even though he probably does care in his heart to keep fighting, you know? Shoo. I've had a couple of trolls on this channel. Very few. Most of y'all are amazing. And even that sometimes gets to me and I just have to, you know, ignore it. That's nothing compared to what he goes through. That's nothing what some of y'all might have been through cyberbullying or in-person bullying. Some of you even let me know that he's the reason and his music is the reason you guys have made it through some deep, 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 deep doo-doo. And I'm proud of this guy, man. I feel like he reminds me of one of my brothers. He reminds me of both of my brothers, actually. My younger brother, I have two younger brothers. I'm second oldest of five. I don't know. I can count. I promise. <laughs> I'm the second oldest of five, but uh, I got four siblings. I guess that's why I did that. Two brothers, two sisters, second oldest, and my two younger brothers, they love rap music, whatnot. I, they probably know NF, and I'm sure, and um, love Eminem and a bunch of other big, big guys out there. And uh, one of my brothers would rap sometimes, and even the way he looks, he reminds me of him. Like, got a soft spot in my heart, man. It's like my brother right here. Yeah, NF. <laughs> Shoot, I'm going to go back. Hold on. This is Tell me my music does not have a message when I'm looking out at this crowd full of people I know are affected. Yeah. Some things in my life, I know I should let them go. Let me try to do Let me take a middle note. I'll put it all on this microphone. Think about that for a minute. What is the point of this song? I'm just vain, but what you expect from a therapy session? doesn't worry me. I know I handle some things immaturely. I know that I need to grow in maturity. I ain't gonna walk on these stages in front of these people and act like I live my life perfectly. That doesn't work for me. Christian is not the definition of a perfect man. Woo! I ain't the type to be quiet. I ain't gonna sit here in silence if I wouldn't say what I say to your face. And I promise you I wouldn't say it in private. I ain't gonna lie. People go off of my page and I'm trying to quit the replying. But this is ridiculous. I'm passionate, man. Nothing in public, I kinda love it, yeah. yeah Why don't you write us some happy raps? That would be awesome All of your music is moody and dark, man <laughs> Don't get me started You wanna know what it's like if you met me in person Listen to my verses, this music is not just for people Who sit in the pews and pray at the churches nah, I've been rejected, I don't expect everyone to respect it I don't expect you to get my perspective But what you expect from a therapy session? Nah, I mean, I think sometimes people, they confuse what I'm doing. I write about life, I write about, about things that I'm actually dealing with. Something that I'm actually experiencing. This is real for me. Like, this is something that personally helps me as well. I'm not confused about who gave me the gift. God gave me the gift and he gave me the ability to, to do this. And he also gave me this as an outlet. And that's what music is for me. When I feel something, whether it's anger, um, it's a passion about something, a frustration. Like, this is where I go. This is, this is, that's the whole NF real music thing, man. This is real for me. I need this. This is a therapy for me. <laughs> Thank you.
Dang, I was not ready for that. Sheesh. Hats off for him not putting on display the person that said that crap. That's crazy, man. There's some ugly people out there. Sometimes I wonder, like, sometimes it's so mind-boggling that I'm like, is this like a from higher up? I don't know. They hire people to just troll and dislike stuff that are not dislikable. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep things interesting because negativity, you know, misery attracts misery and negativity thrives, right? It gets, that's what gets the views, right? Most of the time in the media, you don't see the happy news and all the awesome stuff that's going on because that doesn't drive traffic. What drives traffic is the misery and the suffering and the scandals and the um, <laughs> but um, no, there's really people out there, I think, that are so broken and messed up and lonely that they'll say all kinds of crap the ugliest stuff and it's such cowardice because they're ha they're hiding behind their computers like he said they don't they say things there that they would not say in in public that's what's mind-boggling to me but i'm shoo, man this guy's got a gift also shout out to the fact that he's like giving recognition to whom he believes he's got it from He's saying God. And I, I, say, I say the same thing, you know, I didn't make my own gifts. I didn't come out of the womb and I was like, all right, I'm going to make myself sing. And oh my goodness, you know, I'm going to try to be comedic and, you know, put all those gifts on myself. I have been given gifts that I can't take credit for, right? Some are going to call it coincidence or something. There's some result of some random act. I don't believe that. And I think it's awesome on the platform he has that he still is willing to say yeah, God gave me this gift and I'm going to use it. That takes some serious courage in this day and age, especially in face of all that crap that he goes through. Like like he said in his own song. Um, in the first part of his of this rap therapy session, and it's awesome in the video how it's like he's talking to himself. It's like he's talking to a therapist, but it's him. And that's dope too because there's we all can benefit from therapy, talking to a professional, a friend, a mentor. There's no shame in that. Glad that mental health is being a little more destigmatized, but I think there's still a whole lot of lonely people that either don't have access to it or don't know how to get it. Um, but there's a help available, man. I just want to point that out real quick. If you're looking for someone to talk to, if you need resources, reach out. There's a suicide hotline. I'm going to tag it in this video. If you're ever at the point of wanting to end your life or you got a plan or ideas on how to and you're so desperate, there's ways. Look at him. If he's not a perfect example that you can push through some of the most horrendous events in your life, even currently, you know, struggling with depression and those things he goes through. I applaud that, man. That takes some courage to be a voice like that. Um, he says in his rap, I got to say, like a month ago, I was talking to fans and one of them pulled me aside and said, we never met, but I swear you know who I am. I've been through a lot. I don't know how to express it to people. Don't think that I can, but I got that mansion city on rotation. <laughs> hey, yeah, um, that's real for me, Nate. You do not understand. It's crazy for me. And then he talks about kids hitting, them, him, up, kids hitting him up, them slitting their wrists on the daily. That's a really an issue. Um, music, this music is more than you think. Don't book me for just entertainment. It's entertaining hearing these parents. That's a cool play, by the way. This is not just for entertainment, but it's entertaining how parents talk about the music being violent. Are you kidding me? I guess that your definition of violence and mine is something we look at differently. Exactly. Right? If this music is violent, but what? We're not going to say anything about some of those video games and some of those TV shows that they're pushing out and the music videos and all that crap. The people that get millions and billions of views for doing absolutely nothing, being crappy role models to very impressionable young kids who then grow up thinking they got to look a certain way or they got to act a certain way or got to say crap. It's a bunch of empty shells, people looking for substance. Shoo, you have someone here and then he gets attacked. Bull, it's absolute bull. It's just, <clears throat> but I love that he still speaks truth in the midst of it. And I love that y'all are listening. There's people out there that are listening and I'm so proud of that. I'm proud of you guys who've listened to some of this music and found different resources and have not given up. I am so proud of you. Anyways, I sound aggressive right now, but I'm proud of you. Um... They say life's a race. I knew my problems probably catch up eventually. I do my best to be calm. And he talks about not being perfect, making a mistakes, you know. Um, I'm aware it's aggressive. I'm not here for acceptance. Just cool um, songwriting, right? Those rhymes and those literary arts, some of those figures of speech, some of those those rhymes or, you know, just a lot of a lot of art in the songwriting, a lot of English, a lot of, um, yeah, literary art and forms of speech. It's awesome. Um, these kids come to my show with tears in their eyes. Imagine someone looking at you saying your music's the reason they're alive. You guys have said that to me. 
crazy. I'm going to try to deal with the pressure and just talking about the things that they say. And then therapy, like I said, that choir part, so dope. People go off on my page, I'm trying to quit the replying, but this is ridiculous. I'm passionate, man. I really mean what I'm writing. Y'all, you know I love this. <laughs> if I'm all about real talk or real reactions, sure. I don't expect everyone to respect it. Expect, respect. You see what I'm saying there? Super cool. And the way that he raps, it's rhythmic, it's melodic. That's something that I love about rap. When I like, when I listen to rap, I like either awesome beats or just there to be like a level of, yeah, melodic rhythm. Just not hubba da hubba da hubba da hubba that was horrible. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I'm talking about the rap that's like, busha da hubba da husha. That or where you can't understand the flipping words. Shimmin da hubba da husha ba do. Shibba da bubba da flower da coo. Shibba da bubba da. You know, it's like, that's like, what are you even saying? He speaks quality with such skill, dude. I mean, I think sometimes people, they confuse what I'm doing. I write about life. I write about things that I'm actually dealing with. So he's even making it personal, not just how he's helping other people, not just addressing the people who love him, the, the people who hate him, but even saying, this is therapy for myself. And I love that. Writing, journaling, be it songwriting, poetry, writing in a journal, writing letters to God, to a close friend, to yourself, therapy. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier. I recommend for everyone to find a mentor, someone to talk to. But there's something really powerful about also being a therapist to yourself. I was going through something yesterday, nothing big, but I was frustrated. And my needs were not getting met externally the way I hoped. So I practiced some self-care and then I started saying to myself what I had hoped this other person would say to me. Sometimes we can do that too. Speak truth. That's hard when you're deep, deep, deep in the low. I wasn't then. I've been other times. And in those moments, it's really hard to pull myself out. And I'm grateful for my faith. I'm grateful for friends and family. But some of you are really lonely out there. And I want to say right now, comment. Let me know how you feel. Let me know what's going on. If I don't respond, I don't see it. I really do care. Try to get connected, support, connect, but also reach out on social media. There's resources. You are seen. You are loved. And yeah, sometimes we need someone to remind us of what the truth is and help us to mentor and to be a therapist ourselves. Super dope. But he's talking about this, how, you know, it's therapy for himself. Man, that takes such courage. I'm so proud of this dude. Sheesh, that was heavy. Y'all, what does this song mean to you? What does NF's music mean to you? And um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, you guys, let me know what NF means to you and, and uh, this song particularly. I'll be listening to more NF, so stay tuned for the journey. Keep in mind, it's a process. Recording these, editing these, so be patient with me. There's also other songs and song requests out there, so I try to keep a mix going. So if you don't see, if you, if you don't see an NF video, uh, if you don't see an NF video in a few days, be patient. It's coming. But I'm so happy y'all are here. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Get connected. And I hope to see you soon, guys. This was Rosalie React. Until next time. Ayo! Hey